Oh, wait, there you go. Perfect. Um, what we're gonna start with is we're gonna finish off our time. So we finished at about, I think we got all the way up into, we didn't do any like the minutes, seconds, hours, things like that. I think we finished off with like yesterday, today, tomorrow. I think that was about it. So after we finish doing our time, we're gonna move on to family signs and then that should be it. So hopefully it won't be too, too much. Um, but because I think we're just like I said, it's got about half the time and then family signs, there's not that many because the different types of family members, while there are very like many, they're not as many compared to like some things like food where it takes like a list of things. So let's get started. <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is um, the sign for time. I realized I don't think I actually showed y'all last week the sign for time itself. Um, it's one that everyone pretty much like if you had to try to show someone that you're talking about the time, it's this one time like tapping on a watch time. Okay, so then um, for seconds. So seconds is kind of one of those, not awkward ones, it's just not one you use as often. What it is is you're gonna have your non-dominant hand sideways. Your dominant hand's gonna be in this pointer finger position. You're gonna put it on top and you wanna make sure it's not like the back of your hand, like it's like the front, like your thumb should be touching. And very slightly, like very slightly, you're gonna move your hand back and forth. And I mean, it is super tiny. Like you don't wanna go too big. You just little movement. And that is seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one is minute. Now for minute, there are two ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you the like the sign for minute itself. And then the sign that's kind of when you're using like talking about five minutes, things like that. So the sign for minute is the same position as seconds, which is this. This one is going to be slightly bigger. Minutes. Minutes. It's going to be that bigger movement. Um, when typically you are signing minutes, like saying like, oh, you have five minutes and then five minutes, 10 minutes. I know I'm saying just five again. What you would do is you would go five minutes. So you'd have your non-dominant pointer finger at the base of your palm and you just go five, five minutes. Um, if you have 10 minutes, you just go 10, 15, you're just going to point. And that's usually a good telling sign of um, your time. <clears throat> that is one we use very often in school is saying how many minutes are left. So then after that, we have hour. And once we get to week, we'll stop and go back through. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I do not know what's going on in my voice. So for hour, same position. And what you're gonna do this time is you're now gonna do a full circle, hour, hour. Mm -hmm. And this typically you're kind of, you're going forward, not backwards. I don't think it's really like, if someone saw you doing this like backwards, they're gonna be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I think they would catch on you're talking about hours, um, but you typically do go that forward motion, hour. Um, if you're talking about multiple hours, like, two, three, et cetera. Um, you can just do the typical two hours or you can do the combined where you put two and you go two hours, two hours. <clears throat> Either way, um, it'll work. So like if you're doing, for example, we'll say like eight hours, do the eight, eight hours, eight hours. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So let's go back and let's go back to our time. So we had time. Mm -hmm. Then we had second or seconds, seconds. Mm -hmm. Just very tiny. I mean, it's almost like non-existent movement. Like that's how I always think. Then minute, so we have minute. <clears throat> And you want to make sure it's like, instead of like, it's not bouncing, it's like swiping across. Like think about like, if you're looking at a clock and it moves like that kind of movement. Mm -hmm. Then we had our five minutes, five minutes. I was about to do 15 and then I went to five. Sometimes the English and the ASL do not always align right. And I will say the wrong thing. So that, it will happen. But so five minutes mm -hmm. and then our hour 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 mm -hmm. all right good okay <clears throat> so
so we did our day. So we did our day that was last week. Um, and so I'm going to skip that one and go on to week. So what you're going to do for week is you're going to have your non-dominant palm up. And your dominant is going to be in, again, that pointer finger position. And you're just going to swipe your pointer finger across your palm. Weak. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Weak. And this is another one that if you wanted to say two weeks, three weeks, whichever, you would just, you can do that and then go across. Mm -hmm. I love that that's a factor. I don't know why, but just having it to do one sign is having to go three weeks. You could just go three weeks. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, the next one is month. Month is a little awkward to like show, so bear with me. I'm gonna show it to you first and then I'm gonna slow it down to show you how to sign it, okay? So the sign is month, month. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your non-dominant pointer finger facing this way. Your dominant is gonna be in this one, turn it sideways, almost like a G, and then you're gonna have it go the back of your hands. Mm -hmm. month <clears throat> month and again same thing if you want to talk about multiple months four months four months mm -hmm. okay then we have year so year is going to be two fists on top you're going to want your dominant hand to be on top okay and you're going to go year so i'm going to turn sideways i'm going forward in a full circle year year mm -hmm. if you were gonna say two years three years um depending on the context are you talking about in the past or the future you really would just do like if you're saying oh it's like three years three years you would have to do the three years you can't go three i mean you could i just don't see it often four years i see more four years Okay, so let's do those three again. I'm trying to go slow and pacing it because I know once we get into next week, last week, all that, it's going to get so, not jumbled, but it's going to be like a lot. So <clears throat> we had week, week, week. Mm -hmm. Then we had month, month, mm -hmm. month. Then we had year, 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 month. That one's month and then year. <laughs> I saw them both signing different. I was like, I wanted to make sure y'all both were good because you both have like facial expressions. Like something's not adding up. I wanted to check. <laughs> Okay, so what you do for next week, last week, and then so forth, is if you guys remember, I think I said about it last week, um, is that when you're talking about time, if you're talking about anything in the future, it's going to be in front of you, and anything in the past is going to be behind you. So this is where it's going to actually show, and you're going to, it's kind of going to make more sense. So when you're talking about last week, which I have signed a few times, you're going to do the same motion that we do for week, but this time you're going to point to the back. Last week. Last week. And I typically let like my whole hand just kind of go like, I mean, it's going a full circle motion. So you don't have to do this like, it's just the whole flick of the wrist. Mm -hmm. Last week. Um, and that also can go with, if you're talking about two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now next week there are two ways you can do it um funnily enough I always emphasize the first one but I am now a person who does the second one so when I learned ASL I learned next week is you do the same motion but now go forward so next week next week next week um but being at my school and being with um my students, they all sign next week differently. It's still the same sort of thing, but it's a little change. Um, and that is now what I do. So what we do next week, what I typically do is I'm going to start on the opposite end where my fingers, my fingertips are going to still go across next 
And then I'm going to go under week. Next week. Next week. I thought that was the weirdest thing because it was my first year teaching and I had a student who said next week. And I was like, what? What? Are you trying to say last week or next week? Like I was very, I was so puzzled. And I was like, which one are you trying to say? And he's like, next. and he kept going like this and he couldn't fingerspell it. He just kept saying this. I was like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. What kind of week are we talking, dude? And it was stressing me out. And I finally like had another student go, it's the same next week, next week. It's the same. And I was like, oh, okay. So I don't, it can be regional. It also can be just kind of like the, like, the group of people you're with but yeah I see a lot of next week and I even feel like when we started this class I kept saying next week next week like I would emphasize that and then I would say oh I'll see you guys all next week and they're like I feel like I waited for someone to be like Jillian you told me this is next week and then you did this what what so I'm like there are two there are two ways <clears throat> okay so for next month and last month I'm gonna be real with y'all. These are my least favorite signs because they are so awkward to show and do. Okay, so last month is going to do the same thing as month. So we have our month and you're gonna go back last month. I don't know, I always feel like I'm gonna accidentally like with my nails, like nick myself in the neck. That's always what I feel like I'm gonna do is I'm like, am I gonna like scratch myself? Um, which is actually a very like real thing. You can hurt yourself with ASL on accident I have scratched my chin before because I'll be signing so like animated and excited I will like accidentally get myself with my nails or um knock glasses off like students will do that and um it's actually called I'm gonna try not to get too deep into like all of it because I know I'm trying to keep focus on this but um there's this thing called deaf beans um and it's kind of like if you think about, you know, like how some people would like do those like funny like things about saying like, we're Southerners. Of course, we love our sweet tea or whatever, things like that. Deaf people have the same thing. And there's this deaf beings. Um, and they are some of the funniest but truest things. So one of them is that yeah, they will like accidentally like you accidentally like scratch yourself or you'll be like signing. And if you have glasses on and you accidentally like signing and your glasses just go flying. Like I've had students before who like literally knocked their glasses, gone across the room. And like, that's just that they're like, and they have to go and pick it up or um, you'll be signing and you don't know someone's coming up behind you and smack them in the face. I have done that. Um, I felt really bad. It was a student behind me. They were coming up trying to scare me to be funny. And I was signing and I went and I, it wasn't hard. So they didn't get hurt, but they like, what you mean? Like you hit me. I was like, you came up behind me trying to scare me while I'm talking to someone. They're like, but you, it was, they were fine. They um love to tease me. And I was like, that's what you get. Don't try to scare me again. So, but it's always really cool. If you can see any um death being videos, I'll try to find some on YouTube just to watch and see. Um, They have really cool, like, it's almost like a really good insight on like, what's it like as a deaf person as well? Kind of you things you're like, oh, I want to think about that. And stuff like that's very informational so i'll see and i'll try to send it to you miss katie okay <clears throat> so back on to what we're doing so we had our last month last month mm -hmm. um so for next month what you're gonna do is you go same position as month next month next month mm -hmm. next month yep yeah. It's almost like you're making a U if you look at it from the side, the U shape next month. Next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll do next year, last year, and then we'll review those. Okay. So for next year, what you're going to do is, and I go slow. Every time I go slow, I have to like think about it because it's like one of those, it's not hard, but again, it's like having to slowly say the alphabet, you know, it makes you have to think a little harder. So next year is going to be, you're going to like, tap like your top fist on top and then go next year next year so it's like a little tap next year next year next year mm -hmm. <clears throat> next year it's like you don't even have to add that full circle I think that's what the tap comes in is to show the motion of like this is a year next year um for last year there are two ways um one I've seen more 
And then the other one kind of depends on person to person. So it might be something that you might see around. I just want to give you guys so you know it. So last year, the one that I see more often is you do the same thing. You tap last year, last year. So tap and go back last year. Mm -hmm. What some people will do is when they're saying things like two years ago, three years ago, things like that, is they will just put the two on top of their fist and they'll go two, like bouncing the two. And it's like, I guess because the two is pointing to the back, like this was meaning like it's two years ago, two years ago, three years ago, not 13, three years ago. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I don't see the one as often, but that is one I have seen a few times. So I wanted to let you guys know in case you're like, what is, what is this? It's very puzzling. So, okay. Let's go back to our next week and our last week. So we did, I think we did last week first. We'll do that again. So we had last week, last week, mm -hmm. then next week, which we'll do the first one I showed next week. Mm -hmm next week and then the one that I see next week next week next week it really is a preference so if you are like I kind of actually like this next week one go for it um if you're like I'd rather stick with this one that's totally fine okay then we have uh last month last month last month Let's see oh that's a better one last month last month then next month, next month, next month, next month. Okay. Then we have oh, oh, last year, last year, last year. Mm -hmm. And then next year, next year. Good. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm so glad that something caught me because I realized, and I do this almost, I feel like it's either, there's a specific sort of sound of time that I will forget. Um, it's either usually morning, the morning, afternoon, and night signs. Um, not that I forget them. It's just, there's so many different time ones that you go through that it's like, okay, there is easy a set to group, a group to miss. Um, the days of the week, I almost forgot to give you all those. Those are kind of important, you know, helpful. So and we'll do those. Um, I typically start like to start with our Monday and go to Sunday because Monday through Saturday are very similar. Sunday, it's own, it's, its own little like outlier. So I don't want to start with that one because that way you're like, wait, that is really different. I want to you all to see the similar ones first. Okay. So for Monday, what you're going to do is you're going to make an M. You're going to have the M face you. And you're going to go in a circular motion Monday. Mm -hmm. Then for Tuesday, what you're going to do is a T. Turn around, face you. And circle motion Tuesday. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Then we have Wednesday. It's going to be a W. Have the back. Mm -hmm. And then circle Wednesday. So for Thursday, because our T has already been used for Tuesday, you're going to do, it really is an H, but because you have it up higher, it kind of looks like a U, but you're going to have this H U shape and you're going to go Thursday. Mm -hmm. Then we have Friday. So the F Friday. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, it's going to be an S, Saturday. Okay, good. All right, so then for Sunday, <clears throat> there are two ways you can do Sunday. One of them is going to be two hands, and you're going to be, and I don't know why, I think it's like because my teacher said this. I always think about the karate kid, wax on, wax off. That is literally what they told me is how you sign this, and my brain has never let that go. But I don't, I don't see it, but that's what it is is you're just going to do circle motions. Every time I see this sign, I, I mean, I know it's Sunday, but my brain, the little bit inside goes, wax on, wax off. Um, it's just a whole thing. I'm like, you had to ruin this for me. So Sunday. The other one is going to be Sunday. So, and 
This one, it's okay. It doesn't matter which one right-handed or left-handed. Um, if there was an actual situation like that, it probably would be more, I would have to put my right hand across because um, being lefty over here. I knew someone was going to ask that question. I knew it was going to come up because that's usually someone's always asking. So um, if you didn't see the chat, um, someone asked, uh, how would you be able to tell the difference between like Monday and Saturday since they you're like looking at the back of your hand? Um, one of the things is that you kind of pick up on where the thumb placement is. So like, for example, like Monday, what you'll do is like, if you look, there's three bumps and it's very bottom kind of sticking out. Um, so when you have that Monday, you see bump, 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 Monday. I, especially if I'm concerned, like they might not, they might not see what month, what day you're talking about. I tend to stick out my thumb just a little bit more. Um, not to the point where it hurts, but just a little more to emphasize. Um, <clears throat> and that's how you're able to tell the Monday. Then the Tuesday, your thumb is so much bigger because it's closer. So they can see the T. Uh, Wednesday's easy. Saturday. So with Saturday, it's, I know it's kind of crazy. You can kind of, you can tell a difference because you're not having your actual thumb like between any of your fingers. It's just on the outside. So you can see it kind of like behind. Saturday and some people will just not even like have their s like little thumb sticking up they'll have it kind of hidden Saturday and that's how they can tell with more practice with them um it's easy to what's called receptively like see it um and so that's kind of like our listening is the more you like see it um the more you're able to like identify it and practice it so <clears throat> but yes those are kind of what I do is I add the little thumb emphasis to help Okay. Are there any questions so far? I love seeing all of y'all going through the days of the week. And I love when I can tell us Sunday's here is because everyone's doing Sunday. <laughs> but are there any questions about time? Are there any signs you need me to go over again, just to kind of review anything like that? I have one. Mm -hmm. I think you gave us all night and all day. Is there just night? Is yes. So night is just going to be night. It's, okay. I remember that. Yeah. Oh no, you're good. Like I said, I send I give you guys so many signs. It's easy to be like, did she tell us this one? So we're good. <clears throat> okay. So let's. So how would, so how would you say like, would you say good night? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That was so smooth. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to review our rest of our time signs that we did. And then if you guys are feeling good and ready, we'll move on to family signs, okay? So we'll go all the way back. And please tell me if I forget one, because sometimes I'll do that. Miss Katie usually has a really good, she'll be like, Jillian, you forgot this one. And I'll be like, oh, that's right. So, okay. So we started off with our time, which was time. And again, I think I've said this, but I want to emphasize again. I know I stick my elbows out to do this. This is me just being dramatic. Normally I'm not sticking, I'm not sticking out like this being all, I'm usually much more calm and relax, much more relaxed, but I do it so you guys can see it better. Then we have second, second. Mm -hmm. Then we have minute, minute. Mm -hmm. You were doing month, you good, you got the M. <laughs> minute or five minutes and you can do one minute with this too i know i keep starting with the five um but you can go whichever minutes you need mm -hmm. and then we had hour hour so for this one to um kind of help remember it is think about you know excuse me on a clock the little the big hand like the big hand on the clock has to go a full circle before it's an hour. If you think about like an old analog clock, that kind of motion is that hour circle. <clears throat> then we have week. Week. Mm -hmm. Then month. 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 Mm -hmm. Then year. Year. Mm -hmm. then we had our last week 
last week. Mm -hmm. Last week. Then next week. Next week. Next week. Or next week. Next week. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then last month. Last month. Last month. Mm -hmm. Next month. Next month. Next month. Mm -hmm. Then last year. Last year. Mm -hmm. Last year. Then next year. Next year. Next year. Then we had our days of the week. So we had Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. It's point your finger and not point your finger, thumb in your pinky. There you go. Yeah. Wednesday. Then Thursday. Then Friday. Saturday. And then Sunday. Sunday or Sunday, whichever y'all prefer. Okay, um, I think that was all of them. So how are we feeling on time signs? It's okay, I understand, trust me, time signs are honestly like some of the harder ones for me when I was learning, cause it's like, you have to like know so many different ones. And then some of them are just kind of like, I, I really don't know why I cannot stay in the sign for months. Like, I feel like I just have such bad blood for months. And I'm like, I have to use that one a lot more. Um, But I just can't stand it. I'm like, I don't like using you. I'm sorry, but I can't. So work like any kind of uh, <clears throat> tips I can say is that for sure, if you're thinking about like, if you're trying to figure out if it's last week, next week, whichever, like those things, just remember anything that's in the past is in your back. Anything that hap that's happened in the future is going to be in front of you. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Is there separate signs for like last Monday or next Monday or that sort of thing? Or is that beyond the scope of what we're doing? So with that, if you're talking about last Monday, usually because of it being, if you think about it, it's still a part of the week. It's still like last week. It's what they'll do is they'll go last Monday, like last Monday. Okay. They'll add that last week and then Monday. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And that goes the same for saying next Monday, like next Monday. What they'll do is they'll kind of, do our next, like going across next and then come up with that M. Okay. Awesome. Good question though. Okay. Um, so are you guys good and ready to go on to family signs? Okay. <laughs> It'll be good, I promise. <laughs> All right. So the first one we're gonna start with is the sign for family. Okay, so the sign for family is you're going to have two F's. You're going to start with like your pointer fingers together. And you're going to bring them to where your pinkies go. This mm -hmm. family. The reason for this is because it's a circular motion. It's talking about a group. Um, the broadness of it is this is kind of just any sign for group. It's like this big open hand and making a circle. So that's where that family comes in because that's still a group family mm -hmm. <clears throat> so then we have mom mom is going to be five hand put the thumb on your chin mom mm -hmm. then dad it's on your forehead yeah <laughs> good job <laughs> so we have mom dad mm -hmm. <clears throat> then we have Grandma, grandma's going to be the same as mom. And what you're going to do is you're going to go grandma, grandma. Mm -hmm. Then for grandpa, you're going to go grandpa, grandpa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then for sister, 
Well, actually, I'm going to hold off on siblings and I'm going to do boy and girl because I always forget to add those and I'd rather add them now because they will show up later. So for girl, what you're going to do is you're going to have a thumb, your thumbs up, and you're going to go girl. You're going to brush it on the side like of your jaw, girl. Mm -hmm. Then we have boy. And boy is going to be, imagine holding a baseball cap, like the baseball cap bill part, boy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what you'll notice as we're doing more and more family science or anything about uh, like uh, male and female is that if they are any type of male, it's going to be up here around your head. Any type of female is going to be down here about your chin. That's kind of the go-to with it. <clears throat> so let's go back to our family. So we had family. Ooh, excuse me. Family. Mm -hmm. We had mom. Mom. Mm -hmm. Dad. Grandma. Grandpa. Then we had girl. And then boy. Okay. So for sister, what you're going to do, and I'm going to kind of lean back, you're going to have your non-dominant in this like sideways L shape. Um, I typically will put my thumb down. So I'm going to actually just tell y'all pointer finger because um, I always say this and then I end up knocking my thumb down. So I would just do a pointer finger. Your dominant hand is going to be in that L shape. You're going to bring your thumb to like your chin and then bring it on top. Hold on, my internet. Okay. All right, are we good? Sorry, I saw all y'all freeze and I was like, oh no, please don't drop. <laughs> okay. So let's do sister again. Okay, so we had sister. Sister. And you want to make sure it does come from your chin. So like looking at it like in front, like face on would be sister, sister. I just turn it sideways so you can see that I am like coming on top of it, sister. Brother is gonna be the same thing, but to your forehead, brother, brother, mm -hmm. brother. Okay, so then for daughter, which you, well, let me add this one. I always do it opposite as well, baby. Simple. We know it. Baby. Holding a little baby. Okay. So for daughter and son, what you're going to do is you're just going to add that boy or girl sign with baby. So girl, baby. This is daughter. Daughter. Mm -hmm. And then son, it's going to be son, baby. And you don't have to do the long-term rocking back and forth. You can literally go, that's it. Like one movement and that's done. I just am emphasizing again. Um, so typically for talking about grandkids, like granddaughter, grandson, um, I've seen them a few different ways. Um, I've not seen one that's like consistent, consistent. So one way that's like, if all else fails, is you can fingerspell granddaughter or grandson. I know granddaughter is a very long word. Um, <laughs> so that I would be like, if you really had to go for it. Um, but sometimes what I see is some people will go like grandma, baby. So like they'll do daughter. So they'll go like grandma, daughter, that kind of thing. I've seen that. Um, I have seen some people even just fingerspell grand and then go daughter. I've seen a few different ways. So I wanted to give you kind of that exposure. If you really are like, I don't know, granddaughter. I mean, all else fails, finger spell, which I know. I would not want to finger spell granddaughter. <clears throat> it's a very long word. Okay. So let's do aunt and uncle, and then we'll go back through those that we did. So for aunt, what you're going to do is it's going to be an A. And you're going to bring it kind of near your corner of your chin. And you're going to go in a circle motion. Aunt. Mm -hmm. Then uncle. Yes. You mean they're seeing this or you're picking up on it. <laughs> uncle is a U at the top of your head. 
sorry. They, I mean, they were just like, perfect. <laughs> so we have our aunt and our uncle. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back through. So we had our sister, 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 mm -hmm. sister, then brother, brother, brother. Mm -hmm. Then we had, well, baby, baby, then daughter, daughter, mm -hmm. then son, son, and then I added the granddaughter, granddaughter, grandson, grandson. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then we had aunt, aunt, and uncle, uncle. Okay, so the last few family signs I have are cousin. So for cousin, depending on if you're talking about a boy or girl cousin, what you'll do is you'll have kind of similar to we did our aunt or uncle, but it's going to be with a C. So if you're talking about a girl cousin, you go down here, cousin. If it's a boy, cousin. If really doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl cousin, you're just talking about, oh yeah, I visited my cousins, things like that. What you can do is be kind of in the middle right here and go cousin in the center. This is the typical just like saying cousins doesn't really... It's not like it's important if it's a boy or boy cousin or girl cousin. <clears throat> okay. Now, some people um, have asked me in the past, how would you say like you had more than like one, si like more than one sister or whichever? What you would do is you would just say the number. So um, if you have like three sisters, you would go three sisters, three sisters. There's no fancy way of adding an S um, for multiples or anything like that. Um, it's just, you add the number. So three sisters, um, four brothers. I don't know. I'm making it up. I only got one of each, so I've never had to worry about it. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's see, where's my family? There we go. Okay. So the next one I have is if you have any step family, what you will do is you will just finger spell the word step. So step, I didn't even add my E, I went too fast. Step dad, step mom. Mm -hmm. so S T. I'll try to go slower. Sorry. T E P. Mm -hmm. And that's what you would do for sister, or anything like that. If you have a half sibling, you would just do the same. Fingers fall. Half sister, half brother. I have seen some people do half um, where it's the one and then down to two. Yes and no. So the reason for that is that, I mean, it works. It gets the point across. They know you're saying one half because this is the sign for one half is one and then two down here. Um, but um, ASL is very literal. So at least for some people, they could see when you're saying one half, they're going to be like, Okay, your sis, your sibling is not only half a half a person. Like it's not like it, they're going to visually think it's like in half a sibling in half. Um, so that's Wait, I have to stop you right here because we mute that. This is one of those situations where Jillian has secretly given away a sign she has never done before. I love fractions. Okay, so are you telling me if we're cooking and we have to use like three eight? Like how do you do three eights? That's your fraction. Yes. Oh my it's, gosh. You just okay. break it down. Um, Talk to me about fractions for just a second. <laughs> no, I can happily do that. You guys are talking to a math teacher over here. I even was like, okay, don't, don't jump into the fraction side of this. Jillian. Well, I am curious if you bake a lot or something, you know, mm -hmm. like, how do you say that? And you would number. Do, okay. Like Perfect two time. thirds, things like that. Um, the sign for fraction itself though, is actually like just as you have a, your pointer finger across and you go fraction fraction like a little like small c and you go on top and bottom fraction some okay. people will do the f for fraction um that's more like i said that english um so but the typical one is fraction but yeah you would if you're talking about a fraction you're trying to say anything like that you would go you just have the top number and bring it down 
I, I love it. I think it's so cool. And this simple. is so exciting. <laughs> I do this sometimes to her because I just add a random sign and she's like having to like, wait a minute, that's a totally different one. We've never done it before. <laughs> okay. So then the next side of the family, which I've lost it again, I remembered it when we did step and I was like, I need not. We, we did half siblings. Sorry. And then I got excited. We oh, did no, step and we talked about half. There was another we got side the fraction. Of the There's another side of the family. I'm forgetting though. I know because it's not on my list. Because I know I have in-laws. I'll show you how to do in-laws. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. Oh, that really... Oh, husband and wife. There it is. I got it. Okay. Sorry. That was really going to bother me. So for husband and wife, you're going to do the same sign, but again, from the chin or from the forehead. Okay. So wife, you're going to have your non-dominant kind of lower open palm. Is you're going to start with your... It's like a... It's called a big C, the, an open C. That's actually what the sign name is it for is open C. You're going to have the back on your chin and you're going to go wife, wife, wife. Then for husband, you're going to do the same husband, husband, husband. Now, fun fact, the sign for believe is ridiculously similar um to husband to the point where I asked three different co-workers who were born and raised deaf like they have signed all their life which one is actually right because the only difference is they go pointer finger husband like or, or believe things like that um and so I've seen them swapped I've seen them kind of change them like saying husband and believe um and so I asked three different co-workers about it. I was like which is the sign which one's which and they all, like they, like two of them and one of them had completely different ones. One was like, oh, I say wife, husband, believe. And then the other one was like, no, wife, husband, believe. Like they, I mean, they were so opposite. So um, again, that's when context kind of comes in. You know, if you're talking about, oh yeah, I met my husband. It's not saying, oh, I met my, well, I met my belief at a dinner. I don't know that would it'd be kind of it have to have a lot of like context for that to get that point but it's very like oh yeah my husband he works blah 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 you're not saying my belief works your belief can't work at a place you know that kind of thing um <clears throat> I did want to give you that exposure to this sign as well because like I said some people will use that as their husband wife significant other so just a little food for thought and if you do end up doing this for husband or wife I suspect not many people are going to judge you for that because they're going to know what you mean. Okay, then we have, so now we have in-laws. Um, very simple. You're going to just sign the sign. So like if you're talking about mother in you would go mom, you go I-N, finger spell I-N, N, and then law. So law is going to be side hand with an L and you're going to go L, L. So mother-in-law, mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Think about that L for law, yeah. And this is like the actual like generalized, like that's the sign for law. If you're talking about a law that's going to be, ooh, nope, I'm not going to start that because I could totally mess up any kind of proper way of government talk because not that it's bad, I just can't. I'm not a history person, guys. I will easily mistake and say something as, like law and when I really mean that's actually a right or things like that they kind of jump math teacher so law <laughs> okay um I think it's the rest of my family signs are there any signs you guys can think of any family sign or family words um that you're curious of things like that what's um, like I girlfriend or boyfriend oh that's a good one okay so um, for that, what you're going to do is you're going to do girl and then the sign for friend, boy, and the sign for friend. So I'm going to give you the sign for friend first. And the sign for friend is friend. It's like little X's and you're going to link them. Friend. So if you're talking about girlfriend or boyfriend, you would go girl, friend, girlfriend, then boy, friend. Um, Actually, I have a funny story about that real quick. I'm sorry. I have to add my funny stories. I have to make some kind of humor in this class so it doesn't get boring. Um, 
is I have obviously I teach fourth through sixth grade and sixth grade. If you guys all remember sixth grade, um, it's all about drama. It's all about relationships, breakups, togethers, all this stuff. Um, it's a whole thing. And so one of my favorite things to see some students say is when they're talking about like, you know, oh, I have a friend who's a boy, you know, like that's always like, I remember that was a big thing is you couldn't say, oh yeah, my boyfriend. No, no, it's my friend who's a boy. Like that was such a big emphasis. Same thing in ASL. They'll start with friend, boy. And then someone will be like, oh, boyfriend. And they're like, no, friend, boy, that's it. Like they'll just get so dramatic on it. And I'm like, wow, you guys are sixth grade, chill, we're good. Um, I just think it's funny they do that because I just remember as a kid being in sixth grade going, oh yeah, I have a friend who's a boy and like felt like I had to emphasize that to be like, he's not my boyfriend, he's just a friend who's a boy. So it just transcends through everywhere. So you're saying sixth graders are universally dramatic? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's, there's, oh my gosh, the amount of drama and like, I won't lie. I was that dramatic child myself when I was a kid. I just, everything was the end of the world for me and bless my mother. <laughs> and so I'll be like talking to my like, mom, the kids were so upset about this or blah, blah, blah. And she's like, huh, wonder how that feels. And I just kind of get, I'll have to go a little silent. Cause I'm like, okay, you're right. I, I, I did that as well. She's like, hmm. so, oh yeah, it just, it stays through. Um, actually. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys a funny, not a funny sign, but it's a sign that's a slang term that I don't know if some of y'all have heard of, but some of you have. Um, if y'all have ever heard of OG, like, oh, she's the OG, he's the OG, which, you know, stands for original gangster. And that kind of like, that's the starter. Um, so in ASL, they, I guess recently, like the kids came up with their, created it, is a sign for OG, which is like, OG, like OG, I think it's something like this. And um, when I learned about it was because I was talking with one of my coworkers, my like teacher bestie, and um, she's deaf. And we were chit chatting and another teacher who's a veteran teacher. I mean, she's been there like 30 years. She retired because she's been there so long. She came in to ask my coworker, hey, gee, have you seen this sign before and stuff? And was asking her and, um, and I just kind of knew, I was like, oh, I'm not going to know this sign. I'm hearing, they're both deaf. Like, there's no way I'm going to know what they're talking about. So I just kind of accepted, I was like waiting. And then I finally like actually watched her finger spell it, like finger spell the whole thing. And I was like, wait a minute, I caught that. <laughs> and I was like, original gangster? And I'm like watching it. And then I finally was like, I have to interject. What'd you say? <laughs> and so then she spelled it out and I was like, oh, gee, it's in the school now. And I thought it was the funniest thing. This teacher had never heard it before. She was like, what is this? Is this concerning? Is this a cuss word? Is this insulting? And so my coworker and I, we had to explain to her OG. And I just thought it was the funniest thing. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, OG is now hit my, like is now in school, back in school again. And I even texted my best friend from middle school. I was like, dude, students are now signing OG. And so we're now waiting. I'm waiting for the day when they go yeet. I'm waiting for them to have a sign for yeet. Cause that was such a big word at school too. So but yeah, I just thought I'd add that little fun story. Um, let's real quick go back through our family signs. I know I totally veered off. <clears throat> let's go back to our family signs. And then for the last few minutes, if um, I'll have you, go, I'll leave it open for if you guys have any questions, um, any questions of signs, anything like that. So we'll go all the way back to the start of our family. So we had family, family, family. Mm -hmm. Then we had mom mom, dad, mm -hmm. grandma, grandpa, then we had girl, girl, then boy, boy, mm -hmm. then we did sister, 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 excuse me, then we had brother, brother. Then we had baby, baby. Then we had daughter, daughter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then son, son. Then we had aunt, aunt. Mm -hmm. 
uncle. Then we had our cousin, so our girl cousin down here at the chin. Then we had boy cousin up by the forehead. And then the general cousin right around the ear cousin. Mm -hmm. Then we had granddaughter. I'm sorry, I'm starting my, my list. My mental list is losing it. Granddaughter, granddaughter, grandson, grandson. Then we had, oh, there it goes. What did we do after that? That's Katie. Help me out. <laughs> we had sister. We had aunt and uncle. Um, oh, cousin. Step. Yes. Step. <laughs> yeah, step in half. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> step mom. Step dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just adding that step in there. Mm -hmm. Then we had our half siblings. So our half sister, half brother. Um, then we had, this is when we started talking about our fractions. I went to fractions for a minute. I got to come back. Okay. Husband, husband, wife, wife. Then we had girlfriend, um, girlfriend, girl, friend, boyfriend, boy, friend. Mm -hmm. Then we had our in-laws. So mother, in, law, law. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like that's it. Am I forgetting one? I think. Oh, gee. Brother -in -law. Oh, oh, gee. <laughs> My little, my little storytelling. OG, OG. I have to check on that still too. Cause like they, that was like two years ago and it's been gone already. They stopped using it. Trends go by so fast nowadays, but um, yeah. Okay. Are there any questions, any signs you guys can think of? There was one more I could think of, but I'm gonna wait and see if you guys have any questions first. And then if not, then I'll add this and then we should be good. Any signs or questions? If no one has any questions. Would you take a minute mm -hmm. and talk to us about, I think at one point early on, I had asked you when you are finger spelling in your classroom or mm -hmm. with someone who is deaf, are you mouthing what you're saying? Because a lot of times we can't tell. We don't know if you're mouthing it because that's what you do or if you're mouthing it because you're trying to teach us. And so your answer was interesting. And so- I'll be interested to see if you have the same answer. <laughs> well, um, if anyone has questions, they can type it in and I will like stop mid sentence and like answer it. So what's interesting with me and finger spelling um, or when I am doing any kind of signing. Um, <clears throat> first off, I do I try not to mouth as too much because I know it can be distracting because I'm thinking and I'm talking and like signing and talking. This is sim. Oh gosh, I'm starting a whole new thing. This is called sim simcoming. This means talk simultaneously talking, communicating. That's when I am talking and signing at the same time, which is what I'm doing kind of now. Um, and so when I get in that mindset, I will like do the mouth movements because I'm still trying to get like, I'm still doing this talking and signing at the same time. Um, and when I'm finger spelling, I will, now with you guys, I probably do move my mouth a lot. I will like mouth it out. Um, but like when I'm at like school, I typically don't move my mouth as much. Sometimes if I get really animated and I'm trying to like think of how to like structure the sentence, I might move my mouth a bit, but I really get like kind of just like quiet. Like I don't, I don't like to voice at school. Like I prefer that if I can just sign all day. Um, this, and so Last year was my first year having my first hard of hearing student um, who actually would be like, can you voice please? And this year I have a few and I have, they have to actually remind me, hey, can you voice that for me? Because um, some of them are still learning sign. They just came from public school, so they don't know sign yet. And I will just stand up there and they're like, just staring at me like, what? And so they'll be like, can you voice that to me? Um, and so 
I typically, my mouth doesn't move too much with you guys, because I'm already thinking in English. That's where, um, yes, Henry, you'll have to wait a minute. That's where I will move my mouth a little bit, but not too much when I'm at school. I think I answered that. I don't know if that's the same. Yeah. Or yeah. What is this voice? Voice. So it's a V and you just kind of bring it up under your chin, because if you think about it, it's like the voice coming out voice mm -hmm. that's okay and I think the last time we talked you had said that some of the kids are hearing or they can hear some and that sometimes they get really loud or that like something will startle you and they don't know it because they don't hear it do you know yeah which yes. is just interesting to me look there are some I love all my kids okay I literally call them my kids I have to explain to people sometimes like no I don't actually have children of my own they're my students but I don't call them students I call them kids like I love all of them um, they are my, they are my sweet babies. I love them so much, but they will drive me crazy, especially because they know I'm hearing. And if they want my attention and I'm not giving it to them immediately, because I'm working with another student. <sighs> I mean, they are just, they will just yell like wild animals. So then I look at them and I'm like, are you, and I've said it to them. I'm like, are you an animal? And then they usually giggle because they think it's funny. I'm like, you're screaming at me. I am not going to respond to that. And then they're like, oh, oops, sorry, but I needed help. I was like, wait. And the amount of times that they will see me in the hall and they will just, that's me. I know it now. And like this year has actually gotten a little worse because they have, for some reason, over half of them have just decided to call me mom um, as like a joke. And I'm like, and I told them the first time they, like one of them tried, I said, you do realize I'm the youngest teacher here. I am the baby teacher. I have been the baby teacher for four years. Like, no. Oh, and they're just like, mom, mom. So now what happens is that if I hear the words mom or like they'll voice it like mama, mama, I turn around and I respond to it because they called it to me so much. And I, the first time I did it, I, cause I would try not to first time I did it and I turned around and I realized what I did. They realized what I did. And they're like, oh, yeah, she responds to mom now. And I was like, oh, yeah. So love them but they just think it's so funny and like if they're like being silly to the point and I'm giving them like my teacher face they'll go sorry mom love you mom and I'm like just why why so yeah we're lucky to have you <laughs> they they're some noisy crazy kids you would think a deaf school be quiet it's not it is the exact opposite because they may not realize like how loud they're being and um, with that too is like, especially um, I remember four years ago, we were in an older building and when we have fire alarms, like fire drills or anything like that, the sound has to be really, really loud just to be that extra, you know, that extra safety measure for any of our hard of hearing kids so they can catch it. Um, hearing students or hearing people, it kind of hurts your ears. You're just like, I've walked out of the building doing this because it's been so loud. And the kids are like, the ones that are like profoundly deaf can't hear, they're like, what? what I'm like that sound is so loud my ears hurt and then they just kind of think it's funny so but yeah those are my that's a little bit of my kids um I know it's past 6 30 so I will let you guys go if you do have any questions please feel free to email Miss Katie and she will let me know um or if there's any signs you're curious of just hold like you can either hold it till next week or you can email her and we'll see I think next week I have us doing Okay, next week is food signs. So I'm gonna recommend you either eat before, snack a little bit before, or be prepared because usually by the end of it, I get starving. Like I will start to start analyzing, well, oh, I'm so excited for dinner. So just a little heads up. <laughs> all right, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of y'all's week and I will see you guys all next week. Bye guys.